Uh, the community's always had a vision of having a home, a central home for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people to come together. The, the mission is really focused on imagining what the needs of the LGBT community are in all of their diversity, uh, focusing on arts and culture, empowerment, and community connection. Arts and culture allows people to imagine how they want to tell their story. I've been in Philadelphia since the um, almost mid-90s. And I have been doing some form of the arts since I was about 10, 11 years old, performing in some shape or form, but I knew I had this gift with drumming, mostly in, in the early part secretly because my mother felt that that was a boy's instrument, so she didn't support it. But um, the arts was definitely an outlet. I was a very shy kid. I didn't know where I fit in. And I felt that I, you know, there was a community that I could connect with. One of the resources I used here to help me find some balance was the, um, the counseling that they had. That's what made me really get more drawn into uh, the community and its services. In 2014, the center got a big grant to have this big festival called the Outbeat Jazz Festival. And they brought me on as kind of like a person to help coordinate that festival was a great idea and it's just something that should continue to happen. And so we're trying to continue to have this series. We have a lot of people who are very talented and I think that um, they need to know this is a place that they can utilize to, to show off their art as well. Nothing is better than a face-to-face -face connection. A connection with somebody who actually knows you, who's concerned about you for the long term, whether that's in peer counseling or in a support group to develop the sort of relationships that over time may be life-saving. Uh, my name is Tyler Lynch. I live in Philadelphia, 37. Um, I was the chief software architect at AIG's mortgage division when AIG's subprime blew up in 2008. And as that economy collapsed due to subprime mortgages, uh, we ended up laying off a bunch of people, lost our job. So I had a, a really great professional career before substance abuse took hold. Just a lot of bad life choices, uh, drug addiction, prison. At that point I had no way of making money other than selling drugs, just it was desperation in its finest. I had heard about uh, meetings here at the William Way. A friend of mine was going and I thought, well, if he can get sober, so can I. And so I came to the William Way and came to a meeting. Never left. Humility was one of the biggest things that I found here. Uh, just that sense of community, it's that support network that I was missing prior. It wasn't easy, um, but be, being able to come here for meetings seven days a week, we had meetings every day, and to meet p new people and to build friendships and lasting relationships with substance uh, provided that support network that I, I think I really needed to get through my addiction and move into recovery. There is so much that happens here, and it's open to anybody. It's subtle things like computers for you so somebody can write their resume or hop online and find a job. It's a clean bathroom. Um, it's a place somebody can come charge their phone. There's programming for senior citizens. There's peer counseling. There's all these programs that maybe people don't know about that have wide-ranging impact. Some people, they walk by this building not knowing all of the great programming that goes on here and all the wonderful diversity that walks through that room or through that door um, and sits down and has a conversation. The center's been around for 45 years, and during those 45 years, we've gone from being a community with very little power, very little resources, to having an established center in the heart of Philadelphia, where we're able to build new programs that support uh, the communities that face the most challenges, whether that's the transgender community, people of color, women. I'm an artist. I've been in Philadelphia for 15 years. I first encountered the William Waite Center in my early 20s. Um, I was still identifying as cisgender and uh, heterosexual, even though, even though I wasn't, but I didn't tell anybody that I wasn't uh, for my own safety and also for housing purposes. When I found out about the center, I started attending events there, but I would show up to the events late and I would leave early so that I wouldn't have to talk to anybody. I didn't necessarily have the language at the time 
to say that I was trans or uh, gender non-conforming, but I knew that there was something else and I didn't really know what to call it. Going to William Way gave me a space to be out or to feel like I was out because I was surrounded by other people who also identified similarly to me. It felt like like internal, an internal sort of liberation like in my soul, you know, to encounter people who identified similarly to me. Uh, I sent an email to them later and to the center about art and talking about like the possibility of having a show and then I was invited to do an exhibition in the space and then from that show I was invited to join the art committee which I'm still on now. After that I submitted a proposal to curate a show that was all black transgender artists. It's definitely given me the opportunity to give other folks opportunities and that for me is an important part of my artistic practice because of the amount of folks in the LGBT community who don't have access to resources. It's really, really important that the center exists for so many reasons. It, it makes a space for youth, it makes a space for the elderly, it makes a space for those of us who are recovering from addiction. Having these community events where folks can meet, and even if folks don't have the courage to talk about who they are, they at least have the space to be around people who understand who they are. A place like this is very much needed. It's a safe place. It's um, you can free to express yourself. You know, um, it's you find other like-minded people. You know, it's a community. You know, you do exist. You you do matter. You know, everyone that walks through this door matters. You know, my life today is amazing. It's amazing. Um, recently got engaged over the holidays. Uh, earlier last year, we bought a house in Point Breeze. Uh, a great job for a billion dollar company. Uh, I've been able to turn my life around. The center is never closed for those programs. That was instrumental and a bedrock foundation to my recovery. And I'll never forget that.